Hi, my name is Cliff Hastings, and this video screencast is called The Hands-On Start to Mathematica. At the bottom left-hand side of your screen, you should see a play and pause button, so you can open up Mathematica on your computer and work alongside me as we go through these interactive videos. If I'm going too fast, just press pause, and then when you're ready to start again, press play and we'll keep moving forward. When you first launch Mathematica, you should see the welcome screen. And from here, you can create a new notebook by clicking New Document and selecting Notebook from the drop-down menu. Let's get started by making our first notebook together. In this new notebook, you'll see a plus sign with a horizontal bar and a blinking cursor. The horizontal bar means that we are ready to create a new cell, and cells are the building blocks from which Mathematica notebook documents are organized. The plus sign is the Cell Insertion Assistant, and clicking on it brings up a menu that allows us to choose the type of input we want. Mathematica notebooks can contain a variety of different types of input, but for now, let's choose Other Style of Text, and then select Title from the drop-down menu and press OK. Now we have a big blinking vertical cursor in our document, and we can type Hands-On Start to Mathematica. Once we're done typing, we're going to move the cursor down below, and you'll see it turn into a horizontal I-beam. That horizontal I-beam means that we can click to begin a brand new cell. So let's do that, and then click the Cell Insertion Assistant as we did before. This time, we'll choose Other Style of Text, but then we will select a Section Cell as our final choice and type in Text and Documents. What we're doing is creating a, new, a document with structure so that we can fill it in as we proceed with the video in this series, and so that you can get some experience with using Mathematica for more than just doing calculations. Okay, so now let's create another section cell using the method we just saw, and in this one we'll type notebooks. This time when we're finished, instead of moving the cursor down below and clicking, press the arrow key uh, down instead. You'll see that since we were at the bottom of the previous cell, since Notebooks was on a single line, and that is all that was in that cell, Mathematica has now placed the cursor and Cell Insertion Assistant directly below, and it's waiting for us to enter our next piece of input. So let's create another section cell, but this time instead of using the Cell Insertion Assistant, go up to the menu bar at the top and choose Format, then Style, and then Section. As before, Mathematica creates a section cell and places the cursor inside of that cell, so let's type the word cells. When we're finished typing, let's hit the down arrow key again to put our cursor at the bottom of our notebook. I like to use the keyboard and keyboard shortcuts as much as I can, and if you're in the same way, you may have noticed the keyboard shortcuts that were shown when we clicked the format menu and selected style. You can see that the most commonly used cell types, like sections and subsections and text, they all have keyboard shortcuts that we can invoke to create uh, specific cell styles instead of using the Cell Insertion Assistance pop-up menu. So let's press Alt-5 or Command-5 if you're on a Mac to create a subsection, and we'll call this one Style Sheets. As before, once we're done, let's press the down arrow key to get our cursor ready for that next input. This time, we are going to just start typing. So let's type, this is some text. Mathematica recognizes that we are not typing in any Mathematica commands, so it suggests that we might want to convert what we've done into a text cell, a section cell, or, or freeform input. For now, let's just choose text cell. Now that we've built up our notebooks uh, with some cells, let's look at the right-hand side of the window. Here you can see various sets of brackets, which indicate where the cells begin and end. You can also see that the cells are grouped together. For example, there is a bracket for cells and a bracket for style sheets. And to the right, there is a single parent bracket that encompasses both of them. And further still to the right, there is a very large bracket that encompasses all of the cells in our notebook. The different cell styles in Mathematica follow a hierarchy, so that section cells are dominant over subsection cells, and subsection cells are dominant over text cells, and so on. One of the great features of this uh, hierarchical structure is that the cell brackets can be double-clicked to hide or show contents that may be contained below. For example, I can double-click the parent cell bracket for cells to hide the material below. When I do that, the parent bracket gets smaller, 
and it also puts a small little triangle on the bottom of the cell bracket to indicate that there is some material that is hidden. When I'm ready to show that information, I can double click that cell bracket to expand its contents. This ability to hide and show information can be really useful during a presentation when you only want to show a certain amount of information at once, or in a report if you want to hide some information by default but open it up later to discuss certain topics in more detail. By now, you've noticed that Mathematica does things like change the size, the color, and font for different cell types to help differentiate them. These definitions are stored in the document style sheet, and changing the style sheet of your notebook can be an instant way to change the look and feel of your document. For example, go to Format, Style Sheet, Slideshow, and then Garnet, and you will see that the document looks very different than what we had originally. You can explore the different available style sheets on your own, but for now, let's change the style sheet back to the original by choosing Format, and then Style Sheet, and Default. Besides the style choices provided uh, by the style sheets, we can also customize any particular piece of text that we would like and use, uh, using the same sort of formatting tools you are already familiar with. For example, let's select the text for style sheets and then choose format, text color, and then blue, and then format, size, and 36 to make it much larger. Maybe we decide we don't like the way that looks and we want it to see how it looked originally. So instead of trying to choose the right size and color, we can select the text again and choose Format and then Clear Formatting. And that will remove all the changes we made and return the cell back to the default style choices made by that style sheet. Now that we've learned how to create and format our notebook, we'll use the next video to take a look at how easy it is to get started with our first calculations in Mathematica, thanks to free form input, point-and-click palettes, and use of the Wolfram language directly.